Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tina Kovergich, and I am Northern Stamper. Thank you so much for joining me. I am located just east of Toronto, and I am a Canadian Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I am just so excited. Today is another day that we are going to be making uh, some cards. I just love Tuesdays. Tuesdays are my favorite. Um, we make a very simple card and this month for the month of August we will be making fancy fold cards now if you've never seen a fancy fold cards it's a card that has a little bit extra to it and they are fabulous so I got a couple here that are uh, some samples so I'm gonna show you these I was recently this weekend cleaning up my room my craft room so later uh, this week I'm going to take you on a tour of my craft room on how I've set it all up. And I came across some some fancy fold cards that I just have to show you. Good morning, Liz. Thank you for joining me. Um, so I came across this one. I got this as a, as a gift and I thought that's very cool. So I keep a lot of cards. Um, I keep them because um, one, they are fabulous. But two, they give me some ideas and I love this one this idea here isn't that cool very very cool I love oh there we go it's a little crooked there we go isn't it fantastic I just love that card so somebody sent that to me and I had to keep it um, so anyways so as I was saying I came across some fancy fold cards that I've made now this one I, I've got to I've got to wind it up for you to show it off so you're wondering what the heck kind of card I got to wind up um, so this is a looks like a very simple card. This is very cool and there are some items in the new annual catalog and the mini that we can create a card like this. Now this is a bit of a surprise here so I don't know if you see this. So a very simple front, right? Fantastic. Good morning Carol. Um, but the surprise is, are you ready? Here we go. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. So there is um, some some um, great dies that we can make this card with. I just love this card. And I had made this, oh, I think, now that's the butterflies. Oh, I love these butterflies. Made it about, must be about three or four years ago. So let's see this again. I just love it. Check. Ah! Isn't that fantastic? I just, you know what? It just <laughs> just makes me makes me happy. Good morning, Joan. Thank you for joining me. So maybe we can make this card. Um, like I said, I, be, I I keep all these cards as ideas, and I have an idea box. So um, that's what a great thing about the cards that I'm going to show you. The one we're going to make today. Keep it in your idea box, and so that you can use it for um, another time. So. Okay, I gotta show you this. Um, I did this, I believe it was with uh, my team members. Now this is a really huge card, okay? So this is like really large. It has to go in one of those special envelopes, um, like really big. So this is I think six by eight, so it's huge. But watch this, ready? We made this card. Uh, look at that, see? Oh, isn't that something? It's a huge card. This one was a lot of fun. I like this. This was, uh, it was great. And so when you look at the back, whoop, there you go. It was a lot of fun. So I do some fancy fold cards. Um, usually with my team members, we have a fancy fold uh, night. And starting in September, we will be doing that again. So just to let you know, um, don't forget, if you're part of my team, comment and let me know what you like to do so somebody had mentioned that they like fancy fold cards so well, that's what we do okay i just want to make sure that i can see everybody and their comments so those are a couple of cards that i came across as i was cleaning my room so as i said um i'm going to take you on a tour later this week of my room it is um very clean now um i'll take a couple of pictures because uh uh, there's something really funny that I came across. Anyways, 
Um, did you see today that they have got new celebration items on the list? My goodness, fantastic. So for the month of August, they got new celebration items when you purchase at $60 or $120. So you want to grab those. And um, those some of them are listed in the annual catalog. Don't use those code numbers use the special code numbers that are in the celebration and I've posted it um, just before this video so it's it's on my um, stamp uh, Northern Stamper page yeah my video keeps going down to I don't know what's going on I've got nobody in the house so I know I'm totally alone and I'm definitely hooked up I don't know what's going on but stay with me okay oh also those that are demonstrators can order, pre-order the dies that match some of the items in the annual catalog. So you want that. Um, if you're not a demonstrator, those will be coming in September. So they got six new dies to match some of the stamp sets. And one of them's the waterfall. There's the piggies. Uh, there's, there's a couple of more. So take a look. I'm going to be posting them. They will also be in my newsletter. Make sure you join my newsletter. Um, comment below and I will send you the link to that. And what else have we got? Oh, today is the draw. Those that have signed up uh, for classes, I did a draw. I'm going to be doing a draw. And those that have paid um, are in a second draw. So, so this is draw number one, August 1st. So, okay, August 2nd. So this is the draw. For those that have signed up, there are quite a few in here. So hopefully your name is picked, okay? So there's a lot in here. So let's make sure they're well, well mixed, okay? So these are the people that signed up for my September, October, and November classes. Thank you for doing that. I'm going to send you a stamp and cut, uh, an embossing folder of the Magnolias. This is absolutely beautiful. This is actually looks even better when you um, do an embossing folder with foil. Stunning. Okay, so let's see who wins that. Are you ready? Fingers crossed. Okay, let's see. The winner for this. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, this one fell out. And it is Christine T. Oh, you know who you are. Ah. Your video keeps going down, so I'm going to pop that out to you. I'm going to put your name on that. Congratulations, Christine. There you go. Hopefully you don't have it yet. Let's put that over there. And now let's go for the second draw. Now this is the Handmade, uh, handmade Wishes. It is from the mini catalog. Okay, this is draw number two. Those are four that have signed up and paid. So I put your name in here too. So let's see. Okay, all right. Make sure it's well mixed. Good luck. Uh, th this has got a lot of really great sentiments in here. Hopefully you don't have this. I love this one too. Okay, ready? And this is going out to Miriam. Yay! Miriam. Okay, there we go. See, that's going out to Miriam. I will get my hubby to uh, drop that off on his motorcycle out to you. Christine, I don't think my husband would uh, go that far on his motorcycle, but I'll drop that off. Hopefully you don't have that. Okay, congratulations to Miriam and Christine. The, uh, thank you for signing up and uh, submitting payment for those classes. Now, for today's class, we are going to be making a fancy fold card. It's What I'm going to do is I decide we're going to start with the easy fancy folds, and then as we work through the month, we'll go into a little bit more advanced. So this way you can feel very confident as, as we move on. And we are continuing with our lovely and lasting uh, stamp set and uh, punch. Okay, love this stamp set and punch and the and the d designer series paper uh, that we have going with this. So what I've done now, your DSP may not look exactly like mine, but don't worry, it should all be work out. So we have our designer series paper 
And what you're going to do is you're going to choose your inks based on that. And what I've decided, I'm going to do Knight of Navy and Pale Papaya. Okay, so you go get your ink pads that you like. And in the meantime, while you're doing that, I'm going to pop you up on the mount and you're gonna, we're gonna go take a look to see what items you should have pulled out from your package. Okay, are you ready? If you get seasick, look away, hold on. All right, I'll do this as quick as I can. Okay, now, if you, oh, there we go. I've been, uh, like I said, I've been redoing my rooms, so I've also been redoing my desk, so let's see if we can get this in here. As I said, my name is Tina Kavergich. There we go. The name you can't say, but that's okay. And I am Northern Stamper. If you have any questions, please drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help you out. All right. So I have my ink pads. I have my pale papaya and my knight of navy. Okay. If from your package, what you're going to need is uh, there's a, a Knight of Navy cardstock. And there's a, going to be a Knight of Navy that is slightly smaller than this card base. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be embossing that. And I'm going to be using the quadrifoil tile embossing folder. And if you don't have that one, that's okay. Use whatever you have. So there's one... That is Knight of Navy, which is slightly smaller. Uh, there is uh, Designer Series paper, okay, uh, and the Pale Papaya cardstock. Now, I've I didn't cut this part off just in case you wanted to use it, but I did fold it so it would fit in the envelope for you, okay. There is a piece of Pale Papaya ribbon, okay. You're gonna need that. And what you may want to do, um, I did forget, sometimes I do forget, make sure that you have a piece of basic white cardstock uh, for sentiments and stuff like that. I, I may have forgotten to place it in. Um, if I did, I do apologize. Um, I was making these up. Oh, also, I have to let you know that for September I have packages all ready to go for September Tuesdays you want to grab those those are bottle of happiness and they are going to be a lot of fun so take a look um, I will post it the link to the class for that you don't want to miss that we've got some great cards on that okay so give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go okay and uh, we'll get going on that. So don't forget September's Takeaway Tuesday. Uh, sign up. I have packages ready to go. I will pop your name on and we'll send them out. And, oh, they're too far away for me to grab. But one of them says, do not machine. So there's going to be something in there quite special that you're going to, you're going to love this. Okay. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go. Good morning, Brenda. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you were able to uh, be here and hopefully let's make our cards together. Okay, um, you may need your trimmer. Oh, uh, you're not sure which package to use, Carol. Okay, so um, in your package that I sent you, you want a Knight of Navy um, and that should be, okay, if it's folded, you can either use the folded one or um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this off. It may be folded, um, it's up to you. I did that to get it into the package. And so, and this is the designer series paper, okay? Okay, all right, and our pale papaya. And I'm gonna walk you through this. So if you have your um, Knight of Navy and it's a full sheet like this and it's folded, you can leave it this way if you like, it's up to you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this our card base and I only need a five and a half by four and one quarter. So I'm gonna cut this down. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. So I have this cut down and 
There is a piece of Knight of Navy that is a little smaller, which is five and one quarter by four. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it through the embossing folder. Now I've already done that because my embossing folder is a little further away and it doesn't fit through the mini. Okay. And so let's just lay it down on top. So there's a nice little frame all the way around. Now this will be color on color. So, but it does add a little bit of um, design to it. So once you have in your embossing folder embossed, we are going to glue this down so that we don't lose it in our table. I don't know about you, I put things down and voila, they are gone. Good morning, Betty. Thank you for joining me. So let's just add a little adhesive to that and place it on the card front. Now, as I said, you can leave it um, as a folded card, but I just cut it off so that this is actually now the card base, okay? So it's nicely embossed. You can see, oh, it looks so pretty. And that was with the quadrifoil um, tile embossing folder. I have used this quite a bit now. Um, I really, really like that. Okay, so if you're going to add an embossing folder, that one was a really good one to add to it. I really enjoyed that. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is let's look at our pale papaya. Even though it's folded, I've already done it for you, um, it was to fit inside the package, okay? And it is a little long. I just decided it's, you know, maybe you want to use this for something else. So we're going to cut right here so that it is even. Okay, so let's cut that down. I'm just gonna run it through, there we go. So I got a little piece uh, left over, okay. And this piece is folded. So that is it for our, our trimmer. We don't need that, let's put that away. Now, you're going to notice that this is a little is smaller than the rest of the card and that is exactly what we want. Now if I take the designer series paper, okay, uh, or you can choose whatever one that you want, I can lay it over and there's a nice frame all the way around. Look at that, looks great, huh? But before we glue anything down, we want to add some ribbon. So I'm going to take this piece of pale papaya ribbon this is a very nice color. It, it matches so well. That's one thing I like about Stampin' Up! It always matches. And I'm going to just add a strip across and tape it on the back. So I'm going to do that before I glue anything down. So this is going on to the designer series paper. And if you know me, I love designer series paper. I think it is one of the best things next to the Stampin' Blends that Stampin' Up! offers. So let's wrap that around and I'm going to put it on the back with some tape just to hold it down. Oh, we need a little water break. Hold on ladies. Have you checked out the new um, uh, mug from Stampin' Up! Mm. It's fantastic. You got to get one of those mugs. Keeps your, uh, your drinks cold and I've taken it already on a trip down to California. It was fantastic. Okay, back to our card. So I have the ribbon wrapped around. Okay, it is on the, the top area portion. And the DSP fits just nicely on there. So let's glue that down so we don't lose it. Okay, let's pop that on there. There we go. Now, what we are going to do, so this is our card base, the Knight of Navy, and this is actually becomes our card. See, we can put our sentiment on the inside here. If you have some white, you can place it on the in, inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down onto the Knight of Navy card base, and I'm going to place it on an angle. And that's kind of what our fancy fold card is. Like I said, we're starting simple and working our way this month to a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to place it on an angle. So from left, there we go, and make sure it is all on the card base. All right, now I got a little bit of ribbon left over 
going to add that on. Okay. See, it's all coming together. There we go. Okay. Now, we have uh, this piece of a pale papaya, and this was our scrap piece for our sentiment, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our lovely and lasting stamp set. Now, I just love this little edge, this little dotted edge, because when you punch it out, it looks totally fantastic. So let's uh, stamp this first. It is always easier to stamp and then uh, dot, punch out than the other way around. Now, one trick is when you put this down, just place it on your block just the way it wants to be. Don't try and force it like off to the side a little. You don't want to do that. You want to take it and just kind of place it on naturally. Okay, we're going to place that on because what happens is if you pull on one side too much, it will warp in here and not cut properly. Okay. All right. So let's do that. And I'm going to take my pale papaya because that's some, I'm going to pick up some of the color. I guess I could always do sweet sorbet or maybe uh, some of the green, but um, I really like pale papaya. So I'm going to ink that up. Oh, wait a sec. Because it's a polymer stamp, what are we supposed to do? Don't forget, got to have some cushion under there. And we're going to stamp. Looks, oh, it looks wonderful. Now, before we put away our pale papaya, let's add um, our sentiment. And then we will add some of these great designs in here, okay? So first, let's do our sentiment in Night of Navy or whatever color you want. I'm going to pick up the dark color in the back as my sentiment um, so it will pop out, okay? So I'm going to just take the thank you, again, pop it on my block, ink it up. Oh, oh dear. I can tell I've been using this way too much because it is not sticky. So what I'm going to do, it's not sticky, so it's not sticking on the block. I'm just going to clean it a little bit, so the front and the back. Now, I love my, um, my, my cleaner here, my stamp and scrub. So there's, I'm going to clean the front, flip it over, whoops, clean the back. It's just a little dusty. And watch what happens. There you go. Picks up nice and easy. And... I can go back and stamp, pat and turn, and let's get our little sentiment in there. There we go. Boop. Thank you. That looks good. I'm going to close up the Knight of Navy and back to our pale papaya. Let's see what we can add. There are some really cool designs that are in here. And I'm going to pick some of these up. And where did they go? Where did the one I want? Oh, the swirly one. I'm going to pick this swirly one and place it on my block. And we are just going to stamp above, stamp below. There we go. Just to add a little bit of design. Okay. Looking good. I can put some things on the left and right too if I want. But let's just punch that out. I have done so much with this uh, punch. Love it. Okay. Now, because I didn't pull the stamp, it fits nicely in. Okay. And I'm going to just pop that out. There we go. And let us get some dimensionals, add some height. And our card will be all done. If you got some extra ribbon, you can add some extra ribbon. There we go. Oops, I think I need longer nails. I think I need nails, period. And I'm just gonna pop that on there. And this is a basic fancy fold card. Very, very simple. As I say, um, I keep always the first one you make so that you know the dimensions and what you're going to create with another one. 
Now, an idea what you could do. So this is kind of a fancy fold. So there you go. You could put some white on the inside. Let's see, will that one fit? Nope. And you can redo this with like any other DSP that you have. Now, what I like to do is when I create my very first card, to keep it, what I'm going to do is going to take this. This was my first one. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it had a bow. And what I do is I slip it in a little, what is it, plastic sleeve. And I kind of create like a little booklet. So, so I, when I go through, I can find out which one I want to use. I always keep my very first one with the dimensions written on the back or, you know, on a little piece of paper in the back. Okay, so this is a very basic fancy fold cards just to get you started. Great for using up uh, the paper. Try it with for Christmas or any other designer series paper that you have. Um, don't forget that uh, Stampin' Up! has new celebration items for sale. If you have any questions, northernstamper at gmail.com, I'd be happy to help you. So I'd love to see how your card turned out. Whether Did you actually do the, the, the full kind of card where it opens up like, you know, like a card? So it'd be, it would have a flap and a flap. Or did you do the simple one base and then flip it up? Okay. Um, it is, like I said, a very, fa a very simple fancy fold. So let's start with that. And as we go through the month, we will get a little bit uh, more fancier. So let me know what uh, you have done, what paper you've tried. And I'm curious, do you keep your very first cards as samples for ideas for later? Anyways, lady, I, I hope you have a great day. Um, comment below. And congratulations to those that have won. And I will see you next Tuesday with another Fancy Fold. And I will post ahead of time the items that you will need to pull out from your package uh, to make the next Fancy Fold card. Don't forget, sign up for September's Takeaway Tuesday, which is Bottle of Happiness. It's going to be lots of fun. Anyways, take care and have a lovely, lovely day.